Chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> You having a laugh? This isn't a great wall, is it? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? You see, I don't know where it stops. There's in it. Where's the line between food and insect? Look at him, stood up. Evolution. I mean, was that a massage? I don't know. Or was it just being mugged? <laughs> I didn't think China was going to be like this. I thought it was going to be more... I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. Nice start to the day. Moon's still out. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. Have a toilet roll first. It's, it's an alright wall. It's the alright wall of China. The thing is, I don't know what power I've got. Alright, oh, alright. Really, eh? Ah, alright. Give us your money. Oh, at least it's like a murder scene. What is that? Massive toads. I looked at the wrong time. Bit of toads out there. Come on, go! Quickly! Faster! Come on, come on! I don't even know what that is. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in German water or something. What am I doing? Seriously, what is going on here? It's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. And definitely if you're a toad, because they'll grab you and cut your head off and eat you. I mean, normally, if I'm messing about with pain, I'm quite a tidy worker. Oh, Jesus. This wouldn't happen. The eyes are burning. I don't care anymore. First Baba, you reminded me of Bill Oddy. I just sort of feel like if I'm going to shit myself, I will. I understand that one arm is better than the other, but I'd never say, oh, but I don't need it. I know where I am. Bloody hell, I'm getting bills for Carl Pilkington left, right and centre, so I hope I'm in. Have you got any feelings coming up? Uh, stomach's better now. Is that not? I'm paying for someone else. Yeah, I met more of an emotional nature of being here. Um, how can you have an emotional feeling here? I mean, just over there, we cremate bodies over there, so you, you're never that far away from that weirdness in India. I don't know why Steve sent me to look at a cow. We've got that at home. Wildlife going on there. The sun going down. The Taj Mahal. Hang on, what's that? There's a load of dead bodies at the back. What's that there? What's the cupboard for? All right. Sort of an ensuite shed. It is as well, isn't it? I thought it might have just been mud, but it is proper cow shit. This is a bit weird, isn't it? No, I like right, travelling around, sat in a car, looking out of the window, looking at life going on. It's not, it's not a nice thing to do in India. But well, that's like going to a brothel and saying, don't mind me, I'm just going to stand over here and watch. Either you get involved or you shouldn't be there. I'm just in the Ganges at the moment, just on a rubber dinghy with a 77 year old man. Shades on. He was concerned about hurting his eyes in the sun, but wasn't worried about, you well, know, sunburning his arse cheek. And, and tonight I had some sort of new pudding that I've never had before. Carrots with sort of milk and sugar on it. I enjoyed it. I mean, I was worried about the local thing about you know, using your hand when you into the toilet. I'm getting neck iron cow shit. It's good. My God. I never thought I'd be doing that. It's been interesting, Steve. I've learned a lot. I've seen a lot. I've done a lot. I've shat a lot. <laughs>